As some of you may know, I recently bought some medieval armor. Actually, it's not so not so recent now, but uh, not knocking the craftsmanship or anything. It is excellently done. However, it is made of very cheap materials. If you're getting into the making armor type stuff or uh, you know medieval combat, note to self: uh, if you want proper stuff, it's going to be probably in, in New Zealand dollars. It's probably going to be around. I'd say 4k if you want a decent suit uh, unless you're gonna make it yourself like me now I got these gloves I don't know if it was customs ripped them apart or if they were just really bad already but these things just fell to bits uh, they absolutely fell to bits and I I think it could have been customs like cutting them open because it's metal and they can't see and they might be like oh there might be drugs in here and they might have cut it open and tried to put it back together but I think it was just cheap leather and uh, well, sometimes you just gotta rivet the pieces into new gloves. So I've got these old welding gloves here, and I'm just reapplying everything back onto here. It really does help if you have a farrier's anvil or something like this, because uh, the rivets they tend to bulge out, and you don't want them hurting your knuckles. So once you've riveted them in, you've got to put them on the anvil. I would recommend using a ball pin from the inside. Uh, now that's just so that you don't reverse dish the pieces otherwise you'll end up with uh, them dished in the wrong way see how this one this oh, I'll just bring it closer so you can see but this one here is uh, the first finger that I tried to paste over from, from the old gloves to the new gloves and you can see how this has gone all flat and it's a lot harder to work it out uh, when it's on the glove than prior you can still get it to dish round properly but it's just a lot harder you've got to you've got to put it on the edge here and sort of hold it on your finger and try and hold the metal still you know, it's just just an absolute nightmare uh, i've got here just a regular uh, rechargeable drill this is quite old actually this is probably like 20 years old now but um Oh yeah, another thing, it pays to dr drill the rivets just one at a time. If you're drilling multiple rivets out and you put them back in, you're going to lose track of the pieces. Uh, unless, you're gonna unless you label them, if you're that way inclined. I'm not. And you're going to have to drill the rivets out. Uh, this, this is just going to be a little random vlog of me repairing some armor. So as you can see, this piece has come off here. These uh, made in little leather strips here. Oh, sorry get in the perspective there uh, so I've, I've just got some filleting gloves on here so I don't cut myself on those little sharp edges uh, but we've got a hole in here what I like to do is I drill a hole through the rivet with a stainless steel drill bit I think it's stainless steel it might just be hardened regular steel I'm not sure uh, and then we take just the rivet you can get aluminium rivets or steel rivets uh, if you're feeling adventurous you can use a nail and just uh, saw it off but that can be a bit of problematic and then we're going to take the regular glove and I'm just going to drill a hole in the top half now if it gets stuck just reverse the drill uh, the drill polarity with a little switch on the side of the drill here otherwise um, <laughs> if you don't do that it's just going to keep spinning the leather around and it's going to be an absolute nightmare like before so what I like to do is just stick the plate underneath make sure it goes underneath otherwise it's going to be um, a lot less protective as you can see on the first finger here I didn't do that I just put this in here uh, the audio quality is not probably going to be the greatest I probably won't bother recording a voiceover so you're just stuck with this raw footage for now if I just put this back in here uh, you got to push it all the way in sometimes the rivet is too long that doesn't matter that's not really the problem uh, too short is worse just push this through here you really want to push the top layer of the leather up against the steel otherwise the rivet is just going to fail and you're going to have a whole lot of problems then we're just going to take our rivet gun we'll just pop this on here and you're going to want to hold it really firm up in, up in the base here and then just squeeze and sometimes it doesn't get traction on the the shaft of, of the rivet this is the shaft of the rivet that the the, the gun is trying to grab and you just got to keep persisting you know when it's doing its job because you'll feel a little bit of resistance 
and it normally takes quite a bit for these longer rivets to pop in properly. You can do it a lot faster if you've got multiple people or the, like a, a rig to hold everything but it's really quite unnecessary when you can just use a rivet gun and a drill. Maybe I'll title this how to fix your gauntlets with nothing but a rivet gun and a drill even though there's also a ball pin hammer <laughs> and a ferret anvil but you don't really need all of this equipment. You can do it with a lot less and it's just harder. We just go in here, go. There we go. And it's got the final pop. Now you might think that the show's over and that you're done here, but you definitely don't want to stop here. Uh, you want to really make sure that that rivet is actually going to hold it. Sometimes it doesn't. By putting the finger on the Farrah's anvil. And then just give it a good old bashing. And that should, um, that should flatten it out under so it doesn't hurt as much. I've drilled an extra hole that's not supposed to be in here in the thumb for this gauntlet. Uh, just so that I can have the option to rivet it down solid if it doesn't want to go back on the device because I've got a piece here that's supposed to be a hinge on here and I might have to replace the hinge entirely uh, just because it's pretty bad. I don't know, I think that's a steel rivet. I'm not actually sure, it might be aluminum. I'll drill it and if it works, uh, it works and if it doesn't, it doesn't. Oh, lucky, lucky day. We managed to get it. So this is, I'll just show you a close up real quick. This right here is the, one of the points that failed on this armor. It's just because it's not strong enough. Um, I, hope that, I hope that's focusing. It's not, doesn't seem, my camera doesn't want to focus. But this little pin here, uh, it can get jammed. And it, it just ripped the whole, the whole joint off here. So I could try and put this back together the whole whole way but I think it's just going to be easier to get another uh, joint here for the for the thumb because it's just an absolute nightmare now bec luckily because the leather is so shoddy on some of this armor here sometimes well, with the first two and this one you can just rip the the whole thing off clean without having to although I think sometimes they just sort of glue it how bad it is oh man the, these two fingers are actually quite good they did a good job but um scratch that it's not that great um so it looks like they've done a really good job of these two fingers not a good job of the other two fingers i don't imagine they'd let me into a tournament with just two fingers guarded I honestly can't be bothered taking this off, so I might just make a new piece for these and just hope that I don't chop off my my two front fingers. Oh wait, oh no, oh that's bad, I lost it. I lost a piece, where'd it go? Well, that's that ball of there gone. <laughs> that piece is long gone. I'm just gonna smile and pretend that that didn't make me infuriatedly angry. All right, um, I'm just going to skip straight to installing this piece and I might make some separate pieces for this later. I think instead of installing a rivet here to the main frame, I might not do that. I'm not really sure. I'm just going to put this on so that I've got a mold. I don't have a hand mold to put this in, so I'm just going to put it on. Let's go through here. This is the upper part of the gauntlet. And this one has two rivets missing that go there. So I've got to mark these with a pen or something so that I can see where to drill them. I could just drill them like this, but that would probably make me bleed, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, let's take this out. Just lean them up on the ferro's angle down. I'll just try and get it as far over as possible so that it's not restricting movement. I'll just drill a hole in the leather. Go. I'll just start with one hole I think when I move on to the next. Or we'll just sort of eyeball it. Where is it looks like I'm out of rivets, so I'm gonna go and check the garage for some rivets.
just zoom in here really quick so you can see. Uh, where do I leave the rivets? Come on. There's got to be some rivets somewhere over here. Oh. Uh, come on. Here we go. There we go. We now have the rivets. I'll put you back on the camera stand. Hopefully it's not too boring just sitting in one place for too long. Let's zoom in so you don't have to look at the car. There we go. That the car kind of, kind of breaks the immersion over there. All right. Uh, we'll just take one of our handy dandy rivets. I don't think we need a huge as rivet, but. I'm going to use a huge as rivet just to make sure that it goes in so I don't have headaches trying to put it back in later. Push it all the way in. I'm going to hold it. It's very important to hold it tight, otherwise the rivet just will not work properly. I'll tell you what, it's probably going to be easier doing this side without the two fingers on. I might be able to just smith together some makeshift other... Oh no, this rivet gun is the wrong size, isn't it? What size is this shaft? Oh no, please work. <laughs> this doesn't work, I'm going to be very sad. Oh yes, here we go. There's hope, there's hope. Just keep it firm. Oh man, this is this is the fiddliest thing ever. I've got to have like dexterity level 1 million to get this in. Okay, here we go. Come on, <laughs> you can do it, little rivet, I believe in you, you can save my gauntlets, so I don't have to spend like $400 on a new set, <sighs> these things were majorly overpriced, but um, I don't actually think they were overpriced in terms of how much labour it would have taken to make the pieces, because I've made suits before, but um, they weren't very good suits, obviously, but and I know how much work it takes to get decent fluting like this on here. It's, it's got to be hours of work, unless you've got like a press, if you've got a, a modern tool, you could stamp these things really fast, but I'm pretty sure ordering it from India might have had presses, I'm not sure. I mean, India is coming along in technology quite a lot. Depends which area it was produced in. I don't know which area it was produced in, though, so... Who knows? Alright, that's the first hole done. Now I've got to drill the second hole. And I sure hope the camera doesn't run out of recording time there. Just got to drill a hole in the side here. It's got to be very... Very precise. There we go. Another rivet. Let's pop this through. Another one here. When in doubt, YouTube tutorials. Oh, come on. Oh no, i drill it out a little bit better. Don't copy me, uh, that was really unsafe. <laughs> there we go. Come on. Please go in. Please go in. Alright, it's in. Now we just got to rivet this thing together. Thing. You'd be surprised how hard it is on your um, on your grip if you don't have grip trainers. Like me, I don't have grip trainers. I just have this thing. Oh come on! No. Sometimes you can get the rivet like all the way to nearly done. And then right at the last minute it just pops out and you've got to do it all over again. It's so frustrating. It's 
going to check to make sure that the camera's still recording because otherwise I'm talking to no one. Yeah, it's still going. Canon X's is that cheap and they cost like a hundred bucks and they get the job done. Don't need a fancy camera. Well, I also don't have a fancy camera anymore. But um, we'll get a fancy camera again one day. I get that sweet, sweet ad revenue. Oh, here we go. There's the last, last pop that took forever. Now, just to definitely make sure that I'm not going to lose all of that progress, I'm going to just flatten that a little bit out. That can't be too good on the leather. <laughs> right, I might consider trying to fix this. I think it's going to be quite difficult though. I've never done this before. I might just try and use this rivet shaft as a lever to try and pull this open. We might be able to save this. Uh, if we were to save this, it's not for structural purposes, it is purely for aesthetic reasons. I must say though that the whoever made this did an excellent job with the um, the breastplate and the gauntlets. They are of excellent quality in terms of aesthetic uh, aesthetic looks. This needs polishing. It is so so very slackly, slovenly looked after. I feel kind of bit. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! I just popped her a bit. All right. <laughs> this is, that's alright. I'm going to end the video there and then go punch some trees with this to blow off steam. Anyway, thank you for watching and have a nice day. Goodbye.